So I, I'm going to change and um, not wear this the rest of the video, but I thought I would just show you this is what I um, went out this morning to visit some funeral homes uh, where I uh, got um, uh, news, uh, not surprising news, that uh, um, the, the, they're rarely in need of freelance uh, funeral efficients. Uh, it's, it's occasional. Um, I still have a send an email <clears throat> to one of the larger funeral homes that I went to, um, but I'm not necessarily that optimistic. Um, so, uh, but you would hire me, right? Um, I always use the camera as a mirror. Um, I, I know I'm talking to you out in internet land, uh, but what I'm doing is fixing my tie and looking at my hair and noticing my forehead. Um, so, uh, again, I'm going to change clothes, but I just thought I'd show you what I, what I look like when I, I um, dress up to go. What? It, it feels like I'm leaning, but I'm not. But then when I lean my head, I can't figure out how to get up straight. So, um, nope. There. Well, all right. So, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. See, I've changed clothes now. In reality, I, um, it's been a couple of hours. Uh, um, I, I went away to... Um, okay, I'm back again. I'm back again. Uh, that was... I, I did something weird with my seat. Um, because uh, all I can do is look at myself and think, oh, if this were better, if there were better lighting, I, I'm trying to direct myself when I have limited um, equipment, essentially this computer. But so I, I went away for a couple of hours. Um, I went to a coffee shop and I sent some emails uh, and applied for a job in Boston at Northeastern University. It looks like an interesting job, but I have no connections in Boston or at Northeastern University, um, what someone out there might. Um, so if you do, let me know. Looks like an interesting job. Uh, so I did that and um, got a Coke. Um, I should really give these up, but it's what I got right now. Um, so I went to several cemeteries or funeral homes today and uh, dropped off some cards and some resumes and some previous sermons to, um, to get my name added to their list of officiants. Um, but my, in, in reality, I thought, uh, in my, my head, I thought that um, surely they have requests for these all the time. And I... Um, uh, would have calls and could make a living doing funerals. That does not look like it's going to be the case. Um, now the camera is looking up my nose. Better. Um, so that 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 plan that seemed completely feasible in my head is probably not. So um, I'm. I'm I, I, made sure that the temp agency was aware that I, I really am in need of work. Um, subletting the apartment still sounds like a great idea to me, but my landlord is, um, I think, pretty anxious, as he's, he's rightly should be. Um, sent me an email asking me to um, send him a description of what I wanted to do, um, because he's going to meet with his attorney next week. Um, and he lives in the house. If you've never been here, this I live in an in-law apartment, um, so he lives upstairs. So he, it makes sense. But he, he didn't exclude um, subletting from the lease. So if I wanted to, I think I, I'm legally, um, it's allowable for me to do it. Um, but I, I want him to be involved in that and to, him to feel good about that. So... Um, 
I basically just sent him an email saying, uh, yeah, I want to sublet my apartment. So that's, that's what I've been up to. And, um, so all the things in my head that seemed completely reasonable and, um, we're just going to work out are not, um, so, so I'm going to, um, continue seeking out employment as, um, my friend Ellen said, um, so thanks for the people who called me last night and, um, who, uh, called me yesterday, um, when I, I was freaking out and panicking a bit, um, still panicking a little, but, uh, something to work out, um, I, I certainly don't know what that's going to be, though, um, so, so, all that being said, I'm going to tell you about, um, this wedding reception I went to this weekend, uh, the a former youth, uh, of mine and got married. Um, she now lives in uh, San Francisco with her then fiance. She moved here um, to be with her boyfriend and then fiance and now husband. Um, she's a screenwriter. He's a biological engineer. He's something. He, he advised on the movie Contagion. He also has appeared on um, the Colbert Report now and uh, so he's kind of famous. Um, his name's Nathan Wolf. I, I, he's not really famous to me. I watched him on Colbert Report, and I know he advised on that um, movie Contagion, but he's just now Lauren's husband to me. But anyway, uh, I went to this wedding reception uh, Sunday night, um, and it was fancy. Um, Fanciest wedding reception I've ever been to. Um, I, I still say my favorite wedding reception I ever went to was my friend Jen and her husband Stacy's uh, wedding reception. But uh, this wedding reception was fancy. They rented out an entire restaurant, an entire nice restaurant, foreign cinema here in San Francisco. Um, and they just had uh, hors d'oeuvres on trays all night. Um, and you know I love finger food. Um, you may not know that, but I do. And a wedding reception is one of my favorite things, but particularly this one. Um, they had uh, open shell fish, like oysters and shrimp and crab. Oysters all night. Um, first time I'd ever tried an oyster, and I was skeptical, but changed my life. It was delicious. Um, I'll eat those snotty things anytime, any day. Um, but then just tons of other little... Um, foods and um chicken and beef and quail and um these little mozzarella caper thingies that they just kept bringing by and um this tomato juice and base or tomato soup and basil shooters um seriously if food came by or i walked by food i took it um i ate and ate and ate um and then uh um it was also open bar like free free booze that, that I walked in and there was a woman standing there with a tray of drinks and she said, would you like one? I said, yes. Um, and then I walked up to a, a bar and um, said, I'll have a glass of champagne. And I said, okay. So they just kept handing me food and drink. And then at one point at the night, I walked up to the bar and there were just truffles and these little lemon curd uh, custardy things um, that were just sitting on the bar. And so I took some and they were delicious. And then their cake were cake pops, which were delicious. Um, I loved them, but I prefer a cake, like with a slice. And but I did have two cake pops. And then after that, they came by with creme brulee and chocolate powder cream. So I ate some more. I woke up m Monday morning with a full-on food hangover, um, but it was delicious. I mean, crazy, crazy, fancy, delicious finger foods um, that I couldn't stop eating. Um, and I didn't want to, and it was all paid for by Lauren and Nathan and their families. And, um, so thank you, Lauren and Nathan for getting married, um, and being in love and having a fancy, fancy party that you invited me to. So, um, all right. Uh, so thank you very much for listening. I think that's probably my 10 minutes, um, for, uh,
YouTube and you've, I mean, if you watched this much, you've watched enough already. Um, if you know of a job, um, if you know of someone who's looking for a YouTube celebrity, I'm not it. But if those people are not available, tell them about me. So, um, bye everybody and uh, maybe we'll talk again tomorrow.